What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I am going to show you on how to use a game instance. It's going to be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so a game instance is a class that will persist through different levels. So for example, if we configure our character in the selection level, then when we go into the actual game level, we will not have that setup, that information, that settings. But by using a game instance, we can actually save all of that settings in a variable and then get that variable back in the actual game level and to use it. So in this example, I am going to be using this selection game that I made, well, selection uh, system, right? Where you can change the character. And now if I were to, you know, have another button that I would change of level, this would not work. So. How do we create a game instance? Well, we simply just need to right click, create a new blueprint class and go and select and find a game instance. Then we can see that we have the game instance class, select this and then you name this something as GI for game instance underscore and in my case, let me call it selection so it, it you know, maintains in the context of my example, but you can of course name it whatever you want. Now, very important, we need to make sure that we're using this game instance on our game. Now, the thing is that if we go to world settings and expand the game mode, you will not see a game instance, you know, setting. We will need to do this actually on the project settings. So let's go up into edit, project settings, and then search for instance. And then we can see the game instance class. So we're going to change this to be our GI selection and now the whole project will be using this game instance. So now I can open this game instance and we can start to do things over here. In this case, we can actually write some code, but mainly we will use it as a storage, right? So we will just create a variable, for example, with my, um, you know, uh, skeletal mesh selected, right? And in my case, this will be a skeletal mesh object reference and that's it that's what i would do so now to you know apply and set this variable we need to you know use it from outside so how do we update this variable on the game instance well in my case i will go into my widget where i change the character over here so it's actually in the actor okay and on here i change the scope to match so now it will be as simple as just right clicking get game instance and then cast to that class so we can access all of the parameters which is of course gi selection and now from there because we are casting to the class we can access the variable so we can set the skeletal mesh selected and just go ahead and fill this in over here as simple as that so with that said now that variable will be saved on the game instance if i press this button now let's go and change of level right so let me quickly go to the, my uh widget and just quickly add a button right so i'm gonna duplicate this button which will go here i'm gonna just put it quickly and not really anchor it okay to go quick and this will be um play level or whatever you want to name it and then on the play button I'm gonna add on on clicked event so make sure that it's set as is variable and now on here we can add on clicked and then you say open level right so we will basically open the level by name and we need to type in exactly the same third person map not exactly the same i mean exactly the same level uh, name that you have right so in my case is this one so make sure to not put any more spaces and leave capital letters like it is and everything like that so now when i go and change my character play level right it's not working um, because we still need to go ahead and you know apply that mesh so in my case i'm gonna open my third person character blueprint and on the begin play i am going to get the game instance once again just like we did with our um, actor over here to set it so we're gonna also go and cast to the gi and that way we can access all of the parameters and variables and in this case we can simply get instead of setting the uh, skeletal mesh selected and then i can just go and get my mesh and set the skeletal mesh asset to be that one on the game instance which has that mesh of the selection menu so now if i go and press play on the selection map 
I change the character to, for example, the mannequin of Unreal Engine 4, play the level, and boom, <laughs> we have now the Unreal Engine 4 mannequin in the level, as you can see, so everything is going ahead and working. That's how you can use a game instance to basically synchronize different variables and settings through different levels in the project. So that's it guys, found this tutorial helpful, I would really appreciate it, you can like the video and subscribe to my channel. We don't have full access to the product files through Patreon or YouTube members, so link in the description. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, and now yes, with all said, bye bye.